Hey everybody, it's Carla from Sea Law Plans. I am here today to go over my 2021 lineup. I have only two planners this year, which is a huge change from last year. So last year I was using four, but you could probably call it three. So last year I had my Moxie Life, but I had the vertical and the horizontal in one planner. So I had two spreads every single week. So I kind of counted that as two planners. And then, so I had my moxie life i call him a bob because he was best of both so he had both layouts so i had the moxie life last year and then i had my medium passion planner which was my decorative memory planning and i had my a5 size passion planner daily which was just kind of creative journaling and just ten daily to do type things so you could say i had three but i kind of considered myself having four this year i've narrowed it down to two and I'm going to go over those with you now. So the two planners I'm using this year is my Moxie Life Weekly and Goal Setting System. And I also have a Hobonichi Cousin, which is a daily, a weekly, and a monthly. There is going to be a little bit of overlap in these planners for me. And personally, I'm okay with that. But I'm going to go over with you guys how I plan on utilizing two planners at once. So this is my Moxie Life. It is my weekly goal setting and intentions planner. So this is the very first week that I set up in the 2021. I've got all of my goal setting habits down here. And then I've broken this into the three goals that I wanted to focus on this particular week. And then I have all of my gratitude down here. I have not finished filling out Sunday, um, but that's okay. So I've never really shared my goals with this planner because some of the goals are very personal to me but I will very quickly go over just my basic January goals and kind of explain to you how I'm going to use this goal setting series in addition to my Hobonichi. Okay so these are my monthly goals for January. So everything is broken down into, I'll go over this in a second, everything is broken down into eight categories. So there's eight categories of life and I've broken down everything into kind of what I want to work in this entire month. So I've got my annual goals set out at the beginning of the planner. But for monthly goals, I basically go from my annual goals and then I say, okay, these annual goals, how can I break that down into a monthly overview? And these are the things that I wanna work on in the month of January. And from here, I will break those down even farther and go into my weekly actions. And so you can see I'm covering, there's a um, notes and reflection page here. And I just did a lot of journaling on this page and some of it is personal, so I am covering it. So this week we actually had a staycation. So my husband was not working and my kids were out of school. And so this was kind of like just a get caught up type of week. And so I took my monthly goal, let's just use health and wellness as an example. So health has always been a really big struggle of mine for like five years, ever, forever. And so I took all of these goals and I said, okay, well, what can I focus on and make sure that I get done weekly or daily? And then I basically took these and broke those down into these weekly actions here. So I also take these and I break them down even farther and I create habits out of those. And so you can see I wanted to have 10,000 steps for at least five days. And so I added that to my tracker. I did not look at the weather. So the reason I decided 10,000 steps for at least five days is because I figured, well, hubby is home. He can easily hang out with kids while I go for a quick walk. Yeah, it snowed. So that didn't happen. <laughs> and I was also like, okay, well, cool. Hubby's home. I can go out for a quick walk. I can close my rings and get my 30 active minutes too. Yeah, it snowed. So that didn't happen either. And so I basically took all of these weekly actions and I put those into my habit tracker down here so I could have them front and center and remember them each week. And so that's kind of how I do my goals. And then I am taking these goals and breaking those down into my weekly actions. And from my weekly actions, I'm choosing three to four things that I want to focus on. And then I'm breaking those down. So essentially this whole spread is like a gigantic habit tracker. Now this is how I did it in the end of 2019. But I also had in 2019, I had the horizontal for this 
same week as well after this spread. I had a horizontal spread, but I don't have that now because I just chose one layout. So that's where my Hobonichi Cousin comes in. So my horizontal spread I was using basically as my daily to do type things. And since I've got the Hobonichi Cousin, I no longer need that horizontal spread in here. So this was my staycation week. The next week that I'm going to be planning is this week that we're in right now. So these are my weekly action items that are based off of my January goals, goals page here. And then I changed up my weekly actions because this is the week that we're getting back into school and work. And so I needed to kind of change my morning routine a little bit. I wanted to try and find some workout stuff that I could do here in the house because we still have six inches of snow on the ground. And I have kind of just other things that I wanted to do as well. So from these actions, I will go ahead and create my habits here. So I'm gonna do new morning routine here. And then I'll probably do my workout here. And so from here, I can easily create my habit tracker. So this spread will look a little bit different than my other spread because I'm going to have scheduling in here as well. So my daughter and my son both do remote learning with school. So I'll have all of their Zoom meeting appointments in here. And so I'm probably going to have my schedule up here and then I'll have my main tracking of things that I need to clean in the house. And then I'll help keep my gratitude down here as well. But I'm not sure what else I'm going to have in here for this week. But that's okay because... Here comes my Hobonichi cousin. Let's go ahead and keep this page out. So this is my Hobonichi cousin. This is a planner that has a monthly view for the entire year. It has a weekly view for the entire year and it has daily pages for the entire year. So this week was a little bit different because everybody was off and so we didn't really have a schedule to keep to so I basically used this like I would have my medium passion planner as just a memory keeper and keeping track of what we did during the day and then a couple of things that we needed to do over here so the week after this so this week is going to be actual time blocking so the reason I wanted to get this planner in particular is I'll try and do the linky thing up there for the video of why I wanted to get this planner is basically because I wanted to start time blocking a little bit more. And so these blocks here are when my kids are in school. Again, they are schooling from home. And so I know that there is going to be a morning Zoom each day, but I don't know the rest of the schedule yet, so I haven't filled it out, but I know that the school hours are nine to three. There is a, a Moxie Life live that I'm going to be watching. So I've blocked that out. I've got my dinner times blocked out. I've got my wake up times blocked out. I've scheduled all of my activities and workouts in the morning. And so I wanted to be more intentional with my time. And so even though I just said in this one, I was going to be keeping all of my schedule up here, this is gonna be more of a checklist. So I will have a repeat schedule in here as well, but I think what I am going to do is I'm going to be utilizing this planner the most throughout the day for time blocking. But when I do my initial planning, it's all going to be in here. And this is where I'm going to also keep track of my goals. So this planner is gonna be more of the messy type of planner and where I write down and scribble down all of my notes and stuff like that. And so I've got my cleaning schedule down here, my menu down here. I've created some habit trackers down here, but these don't have anything to do with my goals. And so my goals are gonna be mainly in here to keep track of my goals in here. And then I've got things that I'm gonna be doing throughout the week over here as well. So I'm going to sit down later once teachers send me schedules for the week and I'm gonna go ahead and fill all of that in and then after school each day, we usually do some sort of activity. So I'll go ahead and fill those in. And then I've got all the way down here, I wake up usually between 4 and 4.30. And so these are my wake up times. And then that next 30 minutes is usually just like my morning routine, like make coffee, let dogs out, empty dishwasher, stuff like that. So I have my daily pages as well that also has a time strip on it. It is still a 24 hour, but instead of it being every half hour, it's every one hour. And then up here, it has tiny little 
blocks up there as well. And I've actually used that as a habit tracker as well. So I can break down my habits even farther. And then I used all of this space over here for all of my journaling. So this planner here essentially is replacing my medium passion planner memory keeper and my A5 daily passion planner and journal. So I'm gonna keep all of my plans and time sensitive stuff in here. And then throughout all of that, I'm gonna do something similar to this. I'm just gonna write in what we did throughout the day and then you know decorate it a little bit with some stickers. So this is gonna be my weekly memory spread and schedule as well. And then back here is gonna be what I used to do in my Passion Planner Daily, which is all of my to-do list type stuff in addition to all of my journaling. So this one planner replaced two of my planners from last year. So like I said, I'm gonna have a lot of repeating stuff. And so I will have some stuff written in here in addition to written in here. And personally, I'm okay with that. I really like planners. Planners is a hobby for me. And I really like writing. I have a really hard time remembering things. So the more often I write them down, the easier it is for me to remember them. So the repetition for me personally won't bother me at all. This planner is still going to be on my desk and it is going to be on my planner stand and it, my desk is one of those tiny little kitchen spaces and so I'm going to have this on my planner stand it's going to be propped up so I can easily see it throughout the entire kitchen I used to keep my goals page the one that is open and propped up on my planner stand but I might switch it up and I might do my weekly overview instead and so I haven't really decided which view I'm going to have open to, but I liked having this page open because when it's on my planner stand and I'm in the kitchen and I'm doing stuff, I can easily look over and be like, oh shoot, I forgot I have to work out today. I need to work out. And then part of that is me trying to create a more solidified morning routine. And so I'm trying to kind of combine a lot of these things as well. So the other thing I said I was going to explain is these pages that I did. So this is the A Bowl Full of Lemons Home Organization Challenge, and it's one challenge every single week for 14 weeks. We may or may not be moving in March. We don't really have a lot of answers right now. And so either way, we've been trying to get the house together and kind of organized and stuff. Just in case we do have to move, it will be easier to just show the house quickly. And so I've taken this and I printed them from the website. It's a free printable challenge that you can print off, but I wanted it instead of being eight and a half by 11, I wanted it the same size as my planner pages in here, since this is my goal setting planner. And so I printed them at 65% and then I just cut around the edges with my paper cutter. And so I am going to staple these all together and I'm actually gonna keep them in my planner so I easily have this week schedule. And then on my weekly actions, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through the entire planner for the next 14 weeks. So I am going to go through my weekly actions for the next 14 weeks and I'm gonna write down this week is gonna be laundry room. And so I wrote here, my goal is to purge one room a week. This is a stretch goal because it's going to take a long time. And then this week is my laundry room. And then I'll go through. And then on this week, this will be week two. So we're going to do my desk and then my husband's office from here. So every single week, I'll have something different to do. And so that's part of the reason I also really love these weekly actions is because you can write down your habits and your maintenance goals of things that you do all the time to remember them. And then you can also have new things like this and you can th do that throughout the planner as well. And so I am going to just kind of bind these and then just I'll be able to move it week to week. So it has a breakdown of how to do each room and how to do each challenge. And so it's all organized by weeks. And so again, because this is a stretch goal, it's gonna take me some time. I wanted to also have this in my planner so I can have it front and center also. So quick overview of my two planners, my Moxie Life weekly and goal setting, and then my Hobonichi Cousin, which is my memory planning and my daily journaling. So even though there is gonna be a little bit of overlap, I'm quite okay with that. I actually really liked time blocking and the Moxie Life doesn't come in an hourly. And so my brain works best off of time blocking 
And so that's part of the reason I got this is because I really needed to be more intentional with my time. I've noticed over the past couple of months that I've not been very intentional with my time, especially after the kids go to bed. So my kids usually go to bed at eight o'clock which is this hour here. And so throughout this entire planner on the week, I'm going to be writing what I want to do every single day when my kids go to bed. One night I might wanna do yoga, one night I might wanna read, one night I might wanna do YouTube binging. I want to just try and be more intentional with my time instead of feeling like I don't have time throughout the day. And so that's part of the reason I need an hour late. So this is gonna be intentional time and memory keeping just like I did here for the week and then my daily to do's and journaling will be on these pages here in the back. Okay so this is the logistical part of how I'm actually going to do this. So my Moxie Life is going to be my main planner. If I ever schedule anything or ever have to add anything to my calendar I'm going to do it in my monthly view first and then from there I will schedule out my weekly view. So the only thing I do not put in my monthly view is all of my kids' Zoom appointments because frankly, it's like six to seven every single day and the schedule changes occasionally. And so I will go ahead and look through here, add in everything that I have of the important stuff and then I'll add in all of my Zoom appointments and I'll have all my time sensitive stuff up here. I'll add in like all of the other things that we need to be doing in here as well. And then after my schedule, I will go to my weekly actions page. And then from my weekly actions page is where I will also create my habits and routines. And then I will go ahead and make sure that I add in anything else in the spread that I need for goal oriented type of things. And then from here, I am going to use my Hobonichi cousin. So with my Hobonichi cousin, for the weekly view, what I'm going to do is I will start here and add in all of those time sensitive appointments here. So I've got my school blocked off. I've got my dinner times blocked off. I've got the Moxie Life live. I'm going to be doing blocked off and I've got my morning routine blocked off. And then I'm going to look at all of my goals in this planner. I'm going to try to time block everything so I know what time I have to do everything in order to get everything done goal-wise throughout the week. So for example, the laundry room cleaning. I may on this day decide to take everything out of the laundry room and that's gonna take say an hour to an hour and a half. So I'll block off my hour and a half and say purge room clean and I'll deep clean the room. And then maybe the next day I'll go through all of the items that came out with the family and see what we need to get rid of and what we need to keep. And so I'll block off an hour for that and write organize. And then maybe the next day I will put everything back in. And so having an hourly overview and time blocking for me, mentally, gives me a lot more peace of mind knowing that I can fit everything I want to do in within the hours of the day and within the week. Because in the past, I've always had like these huge goals. I want to paint the bathroom this week. I want to redo my files this week. I want to declutter my phone. I want to print off all my digital pictures. And I usually have too many things scheduled for the week in order to realistically get it done. So I'm hoping that with adding all of these time blocks in, I can easily see how long it's gonna take me to do something. And so again, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna plan in this. I'm going to put all of my schedules in this. I'm going to put all of my to-dos in this and I'm gonna space out all of my goals. And then I'm gonna bring it over into my Hobonichi to make sure that I can block it out appropriately so I know that I have time to finish everything for the entire week. So logistically, that's how I'm planning on doing everything. I have narrowed my whole planning system down and I am going to commit to these two planners for the entire year of 2021. I do also have a ring system, which I never really got to where I wanted it to be. So I have that in case I needed something extra just to write down extra notes. But I think that these two will be my main planners and I will use them on a daily basis throughout the entire year. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And I will go ahead and make sure that I leave the link to the Moxie Life goal setting system. 
I got my Hobonichi off of Amazon, and so I can leave that link down below as well. I did have somebody tell me that they were sold out at the moment, but I'll go ahead and leave that link. And then I'll make sure to leave a link for my Instagram below also. And let me know what your planner stack looks like this year. How many planners are you using? Did you increase the number of planners or did you decrease the number of planners that you're using this year? I hope that this video was helpful. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and make sure you turn on a little bell so you get an alert every time I upload a new video. But I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day and thank you so much.